OnePlus is going all in on tablets in 2023. After launching its first ever tablet earlier this year, the company has now launched the OnePlus Pad Go, a more budget-friendly device that's targeted at casual users. But affordable tablets often come with compromises. So, does the OnePlus Pad Go break the mold? Well, before I tell you that, please consider subscribing to this channel to keep up with the latest in tech. OnePlus has established an unmistakable design theme with its tablets. The Pad Go not only closely resembles the more expensive OnePlus Pad, it actually looks better in my opinion. Its dual finish back panel is reminiscent of older Pixel smartphones and I quite like it. But the upper glossy part is incredibly prone to fingerprints. Remarkably, the Pad Go's build quality does not skimp despite the budget-friendly price tag, boasting an aluminium body that feels quite premium. The tablet keeps the unique 7 is to 5 aspect ratio from the OnePlus Pad, resulting in a boxier shape compared to other Android tablets. It is optimized for landscape mode as evident in the camera placements. At the front, the display bezels on the Go are slightly thicker than those on the OnePlus Pad, which actually is a boon since I often faced accidental touch issues on the latter. The OnePlus Pad Go comes with 8GB of RAM as standard and you get the option of up to 256GB of internal storage. While it does not support 5G, this tablet does support LTE for connectivity on the go. You can also make or receive calls with it if that's your thing. This is quite interesting since the more expensive OnePlus Pad does not come with cellular connectivity at all. Anyway, the lack of any proper form of biometric authentication is quite disappointing but the more expensive OnePlus Pad also does not have it, so there's that. The Pad Go also has quad speakers with Dolby Atmos support, which deliver a rich and loud audio experience that enhances content viewing. It is also worth noting that both the stylus and keyboard from the standard OnePlus Pad are not compatible with this Go model. So, you will have to rely on third-party accessories if you want a PC-like experience. This tablet comes with an 11.35-inch 2.4K LTPS LCD and this display is great for the price. Most budget tablets have pretty mediocre displays, but the one here is a high-quality panel. It produces rich colors and has great viewing angles as well. It also has a refresh rate of 90Hz which adds to the overall user experience. The tablet also has Widevine L1 and HDR10 Plus support. The combination of a great display and loudspeakers makes this tablet a great content watching device. So, if you're in the market for something like that, this should be on top of your shopping list. In terms of performance, the OnePlus Pad Go takes a more modest approach. It is equipped with the Helio G99 chipset, which is adequate but not engineered for intensive tasks. The G99 lacks the horsepower to run such a big display and consequently, you do get micro stutters in the UI, although they are minor. The tablet is more suited for light use such as web browsing and watching videos rather than for power-intensive activities. So, gamers should look elsewhere. On the software front, the device runs on Oxygen OS 13.1 based on Android 13. It also comes with tablet-specific features, most notably the ability to run multiple apps simultaneously. The OnePlus Pad Go features 8 megapixel cameras at the front and back. Typical of tablets, these cameras have specific uses. The rear is decent enough for taking quick photos of documents, while the front one does a good job for video calls. The front camera also has a wide field of view, so you can fit more people in the frame. The 8000 mAh battery on the OnePlus Pad Go easily makes it a 2-day battery life tablet. With 3 to 4 hours of daily content watching and about 2 to 3 hours of web browsing, I only had to charge it about once every second day. The Pad Go comes bundled with a 33 watt charger, which takes around 2 hours to fully recharge it, not bad by tablet standards. If you are looking for a budget friendly tablet for enjoying media, or you are looking for a reliable tablet for attending online classes or meetings, then this is a very good tablet. It is quite affordable at a starting price of 19,999 rupees and comes with high quality display and speakers. While I do wish it had a more capable chipset, this tablet still offers the compelling value for money package that's sure to appeal to many. 